my kindergarten crush all over again. Let's go, baby. Geeks was popping. Batman 66. Now, this is not Batman the TV series. I think it was a rights issue, but we all know what it is. If you haven't watched the animated movies that this series is based on, you should watch it. It's pretty good, especially if you're a fan of the 66 TV series. So this Batgirl is based on that cartoon character, which, which was based on the TV series character. So we're essentially getting the TV series character. All right, yay. We are now getting accessories instead of onomatopoeia effects and we're also getting soft goods. Yes. Purple and gold, the best colors in the world. Did a really good job here. Paint job is great. The gold really pops. I love the utility belt and the cape. Her hair curls up at the bottom just like it did in the show. I would love a version of this with modern articulation. It would be pretty awesome. Now those handcuffs, she has nowhere to put them. There are no hooks on her belts. They don't open up and she's not gonna put them on her wrist. And she comes with a fist and a gripping hand so she can't grip both of them at the same time. Now you can put the handcuffs in the gripping hand but then you wouldn't have anywhere to put the battering. That's my one gripe is she should have I think she should have two gripping hands. I know that I got single joint elbows in this line. So you can get your 90 degrees. Arms come up to the shoulders. Now she does have a 360 at the waist. Of course, no thigh cut. And you get a little bit better than 90 degrees in the knees. Now these boots, they look, they look like real patent leather. Nice and shiny, but kudos to McFarland Toys. These heels look like real high heels but they don't have any problem standing up. You just put her down and boom, balanced as all things should be. Hasbro, take note of this. And I'm not saying that to criticize, I'm just saying, hey, if something good's out there, copy it. She comes in at about five and a half inches and there she is with something for bad friends. I was surprised she came with a soft goods cape. For some reason in my head, I thought the other figures in the line came with hard rubber. But I just picked this Batman off my shelf, soft goods, didn't remember it. No complaints here, which sees what you get. If you're into these throwback figures with limited articulation and you know what this line is giving you, then you won't be disappointed with this one because she looks phenomenal. Looks like she was ripped right off the TV screen. All right, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications, share a link with a friend who loves the plastic DC figures like we do. Thanks for all the support. Keep coming back for more. Until next time, geek out. Oh, and don't forget to say something in the comments.